Brian Sensei here. Have you ever been in a situation where you're using an app and it freezes up on you or it starts running really slowly? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Windows Task Manager to restart or force quit programs. Make sure you watch the video all the way through because I'm going to be showing three more great ways to use the Task Manager. Let's check it out. Okay, so first let's look at how we can open the task manager. There are a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way is to right click on your taskbar and you'll see task manager. Another way to do this is using the keyboard shortcut, control, shift, and finally the escape key. This will also bring up the task manager. All right, the first thing you're gonna see here is processes. This will show you all of the apps and background processes that are currently running on your computer. So you can see here, I've got Google Chrome running, Microsoft Excel, OBS Studio, the Task Manager app. You'll also see off to the right how much processing power the app is using and how much memory. And what I like about this is I can sort by CPU usage. So if I click CPU, I can now see that OBS Studio is using the most processing power right now. If I sort by memory, I'm going to see that Google Chrome is using the most memory right now. All right, now let's go to performance. So in the performance tab, you're going to see your CPU usage and speed. So down here, I can see that about six or 7% of my CPU is being utilized right now and the current processor speed. Okay, under that, we have memory. This is gonna show us how much memory is currently in use. You'll also see here that I have a total of 32 gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes are being used, so I'm using about half. If you see this maxing out above 90%, you're probably gonna wanna consider adding more memory. Or you can look at which apps are using the most memory and consider closing those apps. All right, a couple notches down from that, we have startup apps. Now I have another video showing you how to turn on and off the startup apps, but this is another way to do it. So here you're gonna see your list of startup apps. And if you wanna turn any of them off, you can go ahead and right click to either enable the app at startup, or you can right click and disable the app so that it doesn't launch at startup. And we can sort here by status to see the enabled apps at the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and disable Microsoft Teams at startup. All right, further down, we're gonna see details. Now what's nice about this is we're gonna see all the various apps and whether or not they're currently running. And we're gonna see how much total memory these apps are using. And so you can sort by memory here and you can see which apps use the most memory. And if they're running slow, you can go ahead and right click on the app. Then you can go to set priority and you can give it a higher priority in terms of the memory use. Right now this is set to low. I can bump it up to normal. And the OBS app, I'm gonna go ahead and set the priority a little bit higher. So it's at normal. I'm gonna go ahead and select above normal. Now be careful with this because if you go too high in real time, you could end up experiencing some app crashes. If that happens, just bring it back down. All right, now I'm gonna go back to processes and this is a big one. If you're experiencing an app that's crashed or locked up and you can't even close it and you get the hourglass icon that just tells you to wait. Well, you can come in here to processes. You can right click on the application and you can select end task. This will force quit the application. Also on some apps, you can restart them. For example, Windows Explorer has a restart option. A final tip that I want to show you is how you can open the file location of your apps. This is the executable file that actually is used to launch an application. So for example, if I want to see where the OneDrive app is located, I can go ahead and expand this. I can right click on the app and I can go to open file location. 
This will open up a window to show me exactly where the executable file is located. And then you could just come up here and look at the path, Microsoft OneDrive, under Program Files, under the C Drive. And this is handy because you may want to create a desktop shortcut to this app. You can go ahead and right click on it, go to Show More Options, and Create Shortcut. And boom shakalaka. I now have a shortcut to that application. If you liked this video, please give it a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more of this content, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please complete the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.